Today, we are gonna be looking at a pretty cool solar generator. What's a solar generator? It's portable solar power. Let me show you. This is it right here, guys. So let's open it up here. We've got a box. This is what it, the box it came shipped in. And then in here, we've got another cardboard box. Whew. All right. Uh, I have opened this already. Had to make sure it was the right thing. It's the Blue Eddy. All right, looks like, well, we've got a big handle here. And uh, we've got the accessories. We'll check those out in a minute. More accessories over here. We'll check those out later. But let's get to the beast. This thing is, wow. Get the styrofoam off. Get the plastic off here. Oh. It's almost the size of a carry-on suitcase. All right, so let's talk about what we've got here. We have got a 2,400 watt hour solar generator here. That is a lot of power, actually, guys. You guys know that we are building an off-grid cabin on our homestead in North Idaho. We have a fairly good-sized solar system, but you don't need a solar system as large as ours to run an off-grid cabin. This guy right here could probably run your off-grid cabin. Let's check out the accessories here and see what we've got. Let's see. Number one here, we've got a power cord. Let's just go ahead and unwrap it here and make sure what we got, right? Standard power cord probably goes to the charger. Here, ooh, this is really cool, man. This right here sets this system apart. This right here is the cable for hooking it up to your solar panels. These are standard NC4 connectors. This is the uh, charger for the unit. Plugs in right here. Last thing in the box here is our, uh, looks like warranty card. Yep, warranty. Let's see, we've got a certificate that it is past inspection and then our user's manual right here. Let's check it out. We've got uh, the front panels here. It looks like power on off stuff. Right here is your input charge. You can do 16 to 60 volts, 10 amps, all right? We'll, we'll go into what that all means right here later. That is a super important part of this unit. We've got a standard cigarette lighter up to nine amps, and then we've got a USB, and well, I could charge my MacBook Pro from here. Sweet. Charge my MacBook Pro. So we'll continue on around this side here over to the back. And it looks like we've got a cooling fan here. And then our two AC outlets up to 1,000 watts of output. 1,000 watts is actually quite a bit. That's like nine amps that you can pull out of this unit on AC. Let's go ahead and turn it on here for the first time together. See if it came charged. Hmm, maybe you got to hold it down. There we go. All right, what are we at? Looks like we're at what? 75% mm, or so, maybe 80%. Says we're input wattage is zero. I think we would expect that since we don't have any input here. DC is off, it says. So let's go ahead and turn DC on. Maybe you got to hold it down. Yep, hold it down. Okay, DC's on and AC's on. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get this guy all the way charged up. Unfortunately, check it out. It is a cloudy, dark, rainy day. Oh, so, hey, it's raining too. So our solar panels, right? Here, here. They're not going to be producing enough to charge that thing today. There's no way we're going to get that charged off of solar. So we'll go ahead, plug it in. We'll charge it off of our inverter and our batteries in the solar shed. And then uh, we'll be able to run some serious tests on this thing. Right now, off of our inverter out in our solar shed, we're creating 120 volts AC. So let's go ahead and just plug in the charger right here and see if we start using any electricity. We'll go ahead and change this over to watts. Zero watts. Nope, 0. 0.4. I mean, it is using a super tiny amount of power right now. So let's go ahead and we'll plug it in here and we'll see if we start charging. Hey, hey, it came on. Look at that. 
we're charging 160 watts and we're using 184 watts. So we're losing 20 watts from this end of the cable to inside of here. Probably inside of this box right here. We're gonna wait for this guy to get charged up to 100% and then we'll start testing all the stuff that we can run on it. We finally got this bad boy all charged up and now we can start running some tests on it. So, first of all, let's go ahead and turn it on here. Gotta hold that button down for two seconds. And so what we're gonna do is just see if it will charge some of these things, right? Will it charge the laptop and so on. So let's go ahead and we'll plug the laptop in and what we'll notice here is that nothing happens, right? So you've got to turn the DC on if you wanna use these USB and USB-C ports. Go ahead and just unplug it so we can just see what happens here. Turn it on. Our green light comes on. And now, as you can see here, well, you probably can't see, but we're down to 84% on the battery. I'll go ahead and turn the sound up so that you can hear when it starts charging, okay? Let's see, go ahead and plug it in. There you go, right? We're charging. Beautiful, it works fine. Okay, cell phone here. Do we wanna start charging the cell phone? Let's go ahead and plug that guy in. Yep, starts charging the cell phone, right? We're charging here, okay? Well, let's see, run our off-grid security system here. Absolutely, right? Now we've got our uh, Wise camera plugged in here, great option for an off-grid security system. If you've got Wi-Fi on your off-grid uh, place, right? Maybe you're using um, a little Wi-Fi router or like what we're using, the AT&T unlimited plan for uh, Wi-Fi over the cell system. That's what we're using here. Connect in here to the Wise Cam guys, and just to show you here that it is actually working, check it out. There we are. Look, hi guys. Right? It's working, man. And so this thing, think, how long would this run? And what's really cool too is here, it tells you how many watts you're using, right? So right now, let me let me bring you up closer. So right now, right, we're using 43 watts. Okay, let's go ahead, we'll unplug the computer. Now we're using five watts. That's to charge the phone and to run the WISE security camera. Okay, so let's unplug the phone. Now we've got zero watts. This thing uses so little energy that it doesn't even register how much it's using. And check it out though, it's still working, right? It says it's using zero energy. So let's just say it's using a watt, right? To round it up, a watt. How long do you think on one charge this solar generator would run this security camera? It would run it like a hundred days off of one charge. That's pretty amazing. Let's say we wanna charge our batteries, right? Our tool batteries, because we're working off grid. We don't wanna to have to plug in tools all the time, so we're using cordless tools, of course. Well, what we're gonna to have to do is turn the AC on here. Turn that guy on, now our AC is on. So then we just take our cord here, we'll plug it right here into the back, flip it around the right way, check it out. We are charging here, bam. All right, so we've seen it'll run, charge, all of your basic electronic stuff, right? But will it power our refrigerator? That's what I wanna know here, guys. We'll go ahead and open up the doors here for a little while. Let it warm up in there. Make sure that it's actually gonna come on when we plug it in. And then let's test it, man. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the AC on. We're not using any power right now. Here's the cord to the refrigerator. The refrigerator is off. As you can see, the light is off up there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Hopefully the refrigerator will come on. It's warm enough by now. We'll see the light come on and we'll see how many watts we're using here. Ready? Oh man, it started. <laughs> Check it out. 167 watts right now. 177 watts. All right, man. This thing will run a full size house refrigerator. That is so cool. I am genuinely impressed. I mean, like, genuinely impressed. I don't know. I'm kind of speechless right now. What's really cool, though, is, guys, today, 
Bam, we are sunny, right? We're gonna go outside. We're gonna hook up our solar panels to this bad boy. We're gonna start charging it. We're gonna de-charge it. De-charge it? Is that what you do to these things? Discharge. We're gonna take this bad boy after we discharge the battery some and go out and hook them up to our solar panels and see how the charging of it works. Plus, we'll test a couple tools that we have out in the garage as well. We're gonna do a kind of an unfair test for this unit, but I wanna show you what happens when you try to run something that's too powerful for it. All right, this right here is my table saw. Guys, it is rated at 15 amps. This guy right here is only rated at 1,000 watts, right? Which is around nine amps. And so this should not be able to run that. But let's see what happens. Go ahead and turn it on. Turn the AC on. Okay, then we'll go ahead and flip this guy on and watch the watts here, okay? Ready? There we go. All right, so it gave us an air. And so to reset that air, just turn it off. Turn it back on. Turn the AC back on. We could try it again, just to be sure. Yep. Same thing, right? We should expect that. This thing is not designed to run big power tools. I finally got the battery drained enough on this thing so we could actually start charging it. But we've kind of got to hurry here because we're almost losing the sun. It's not late in the afternoon, guys. This is just North Idaho in the winter. So we're hooking it up to this single panel right here. These are just your standard mc4 connectors here right oh, they just go right into the panel right there the cable comes in and you just plug it in right here and look we're producing right now we're charging about 100 and whoop, 155 watts so that's pretty cool you could definitely charge this guy up to 500 watts down in the description below i will link of course to the blue yeti and it comes with all of the accessories that you've seen in the video so far but I will also link to solar panels that would be an awesome match for this guy so that you can charge it to its maximum potential. So some final thoughts on this bad boy right here. If you want a smaller off-grid system, these guys have done like all of the hard work for you. Everything that you need besides the solar panels is included right here. Right, you have got 2400 watt hour lithium ion batteries, which are the best batteries that you want, right? Those are the good ones. They're not like our flooded lead acid batteries out there that weigh as much as this. One battery takes four batteries to equal what this bad boy can do here. Uh, it's got the best batteries. It has power output that you need, right? Like a thousand watts of pure sine wave inverter here. It's got a 12 volt outlet here so you could run things like right rv 12 volt blenders and things like that but really important for an off-grid system 12 volt rv water pump plug it in right here you could run your water pump you could power all of the water in your cabin from this bad boy it also has all of your usb and a usb c outlet which is cool for charging laptops or MacBook Pros, like I have all of your electronics, just like what you saw earlier, right? And then you have an MPPT charge controller for the solar on this bad boy. MPPT, if you're not familiar with it, that's the best one, that's what you want. It'll do up to 60 volts, 10 amps of input from your solar panels. Like I said earlier, guys, I will link down below to solar panels that would match this guy awesomely, right? So that you can get like a complete package system to power your cabin, your RV, backup power for your home, anything that you'd really want. It seems really cool. And I think that you probably ought to at least take a look at it and check it out. If you're interested in other things that we're doing here on our homestead, there is a video right over here that you'd probably like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling. And I'll see you over in that video in just a second.